Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of SimCity Ultimate City. So in the last episode we had some buildings that were mysteriously on fire and I decided to demolish them at the end so they were clearly bugged out somehow and then this building here caught on fire and it burned down extremely quickly. Uh, so the game just seems a little strange at the moment. Uh, but our traffic problems are back. And interestingly enough, let's slow the game down here because this is important. Everyone's going out of the city and that's where the traffic is being slowed down at so these are shoppers I'm not surprised to see that the shoppers are heading out of the city um, so that could possibly mean there's not enough room for them in the shops but if we have a look at how many shoppers are in the shops then not a lot <laughs> so what on earth is going on let's resume and it's the time of day where everyone's come back from work and so now they're going to shop except everyone is driving out of the city at random so all of these people are going out of the city and people from... Oh, this is interesting. It looks like some people are going the long way round to avoid the traffic. Now that is something they didn't used to do in this game. It's very interesting behaviour. But this is kind of worrying because they're not supposed to do this. There's all these shops here that have room for shoppers. Look, that one has one. So are these going to be affected at all? We're making lots of profit. We're making lots of profit. <laughs> We're making lots of profit. Apparently they're not, yet all the shoppers are leaving the city. This game is just bizarre. It really is. It doesn't make sense sometimes. And now we've got workers leaving the city as well. Which is strange, because apparently we don't have any commuting workers or anything. <laughs> this game is a mystery half the time. And there's the dramatic music in the background as well, since the update that's been playing a lot. There's quite a lot of traffic going on around here. It's workers coming back from work though, so all is good. Um, let's get rid of that right there. So in the last episode we kind of fixed a few problems. It seems to have made more. What's going on now? Why are these abandoned? Building fire. When were they on fire? Not enough workers. What? <laughs> what is going on with this game? Seriously. So these have now apparently, oh, maybe it's because of a, ba a building fire nearby. And now we have something else to deal with. Uh, it's the zombie outbreak one. So that always happens near your hospital or whatever it is that you have. So if we zoom in over here, we should see some zombie-like people. You are not a zombie as far as I'm aware. Ah, but here's one. Oh, 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 he's running. <laughs> he's a running. Let's slow down the game a second. Oh, oh, uh, hold up, hold up. I've sped it up, I haven't slowed it down. Oh, I think we've lost it now. Yeah, we've lost the zombie. Let's have a look for another one quickly. Don't see any others here. Maybe it was just the one? And he head off in this direction. Nah, I think we've missed it. Oh well, yep, this game is being strange as always. And this is interesting. Oh right, they're still under construction. Well, at some point these should snap together and make a big building. That's usually what happens. Um, but last episode I was talking about expanding the population and I just wasn't sure where to go about doing it because it would mean um, really kind of redesigning the city layout to some extent because this city was not designed well it was designed for a large population however I didn't really realize how big these residential areas actually needed to be um, but what we're probably going to do over here is just start to mix some of the uh, the wealth values together in this area over here so one thing we can actually do right now is expand part of this uh, how far across I don't know so we have 2400 unfulfilled jobs that means we can actually expand our residential area here so let's find out what areas oh let's get that to go away oh what I'm clicking on all the wrong things so we could probably make this residential area right here a lot larger go all the way over here we need to leave room for our water pumps however it looks like we'll probably build another one of these over here because of that problem uh, we found out about in a previous episode so let's do this we're going to put a little bit of shopping on the end as well I think so we'll go about that far out like that 
And then we will demolish this road here. We're going to put some trees in between to keep the land value up. Then we can put in a couple of residential areas. So that should be enough for a big building. So should that. And then some shopping on the end of that right there. And then we're going to put a park at the very end. And that should keep all the land value up. So let's have a look at that quickly. Looks like this area here, the land value isn't quite as good. Maybe what we can do is put another little park. Oh, look at this. We can put it along there. So we'll put one right there like that. And the wealth area, the wealth area, the wealth value looks pretty good around here. So they're doing okay. Why are you not doing great, though? Hmm. I'm not satisfied. But yeah, it shouldn't be long now before, there you go, people have started moving in already. And that'll develop and increase the population a little bit. Uh, but we need to start planning out what we're going to build on the other side over here. So let's have a quick look at the coal situation and the ore as well. So we can probably develop into this area here. However, at some point I'm going to want to put an, uh, a mine, an ore mine up the top here and get what's under that police station. Yeah. So in this game you've got to spend money to make money and it looks like we might be removing the streetcar depot and rebuilding it somewhere which is always really risky because uh, you know how traffic is in this game and we rely on that a lot. Uh, but the problem here is that we have this tiny gap which slows down traffic moving around the corner. We also have another intersection right here so we're getting traffic problems and what I want to do is combine these two intersections together which gives us a lot more uh, land on this side to work with and we can probably make a, a new residential area for the lower wealth class um, but it won't let me build this road across here like that so I was going to map out all the roads and stuff and then fill it all in with residential and stuff like that but it won't let me move that so what I'm probably going to have to do now is relocate this one and possibly the other one as well I was thinking what we could do is have an avenue that comes across like this and then put our streetcar depots on either side and now that I've said that it actually sounds like a really good idea because then we get rid of this intersection which actually doesn't create a lot of traffic down here but we get rid of this one completely and we'll be getting rid of this one as well so I'm in the middle of planning out the redevelopment down here and then all of a sudden power cut up here don't know why this has happened we have a really large excess of power However, you can see here the power just isn't reaching it to all of the houses. Really strange, and it's not like the whole water situation because we've got the power station up here, although it looks like it's all being restored. So maybe it's the game just uh, adding in like a, a temporary power cut like you have in real life. You know, you can have a grid fully working and lots of power, uh, but something can go wrong somewhere and you can get a temporary power cut. So that's probably what that was. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go back to figuring out how these roads are going to work. I think what I might do is push back this avenue here so we can have two sets of uh, buildings. Okay, everything is now set. Let's go through this quickly. So this large park here is around the same size as the large building. So you see we'll be able to fit that in there. And also one in this gap here. Now one thing we might have to do is move some of the parks on this side to lower the land value up here so this area we're going to go for more low wealth and one thing you don't want in this game is dead ends that causes strange traffic behavior and people driving up and down it for no reason at all and I was thinking when I first built this that we're going to have a dead end here because we don't want to bring this road down and have another small intersection right there but actually because we now put another road behind it it means that it doesn't have to be a dead end and that looked awkward right there so let's change that to a straight road so that can go there also, I've gone for the uh, for the junction in the same places, so we're not going to have two junctions separated so often. I think in this area we'll do an experiment and actually we'll put them down like this, so we can leave our streetcar stops in the same place and see how much traffic um, goes to that. Uh, but one thing I did notice, as soon as I put this road down here with a dead end, so it's just the one road, uh, loads of buses went up it. Well, actually, they weren't buses, were they? I think they were school buses, and they basically drove around in circles for ages until the traffic on the other side of the road had cleared up, and then they drove out and off this way, which was really strange behaviour. Um, but we've moved over our streetcar depot over here, and it seems like it's been a smooth transi transition because the waiting time has gone down a little bit, and the average riders per day is 30,000. I think it's peaked at about 40,000 before, but 
no real hit there and at some point we're going to move this one round to the side um, but because not a lot, of, a lot of traffic comes down here doesn't really matter at the moment so what we can do is start zoning off in this area however we do want to make this a little bit larger let's go look at where the coal and the ore is again so we know coal isn't around here um, there's actually a patch of ore right there but it's only a small one so we don't have to worry about that now um, but we can actually expand over into this space as well so let's put down the roads for that quickly um, if I could select the right thing that is and these are all high density I've just realized that that's the wrong way to go about doing this at the moment so let's make that one high density there but these ones going across that are going to have the buildings on they need to be low density like that so we're going to have to downgrade a couple of roads here there we go and another thing I've just realized is it means we have a cross section in the middle of our grid and that actually can be easily avoided by moving this road so we'll move this over to the side like this we'll have that there and I was just wondering if we were to put it close like that then we'd probably get those traffic problems with the small gap between our t-junctions but that right there should work we're also going to put another one here and in the future we'll remove this one because uh, it won't be needed when we expand off in that direction and another thing about the avenues as well so if people here are traveling to work they're going to go down this way down like that and then straight up into this area this is where the core of our work is so we're still sticking to the same layout despite moving some of our roads around because not a lot of people are going to go out then up then over and then back down again or up here and there's a plane in the sky let's zoom in and have a closer look at that <laughs> check that out that's pretty cool can we see that from another angle like that mm. oh and we got an abandoned building over here let's just get rid of that quickly anyway what we need to do now is actually zone this stuff um, but before we do that there is actually one other little job I've just remembered um, so we need to get rid of these parks here and bring down the wealth value the land value even so let's have a look at what it looks like now okay that's good before all of this green was extending into this area here that's not what we want um, so if we go back and build a tree row on either side uh, unfortunately on that side we're going to remove that building so we've only got room for the one in the middle but that looks pretty good if you ask me that is pretty much what we wanted we wanted the uh, the land value to stop at this avenue here now I think if we add another tree row over here somewhere we might be able just to boost this area a little bit or maybe not I don't know actually I think we'll leave it how it is at the moment so let's go ahead and zone all of this area here what are we gonna do we're gonna have residential over on this side which is quite large then a big commercial area there and then I think we'll have commercial in the middle here, residential on either side. Actually, looking at it, it looks like we've kind of overdone the amount of shopping there compared to, to the residential. I think we'll just dezone a little bit of this. So let's dezone that and those two. Make that all residential. Okay, so people are moving in. I thought I'd have a look at the approval rating. So let's have a look at the commercial first of all. So low wealth, not enough shoppers, need workers too much crime so I think crime is the only problem we really understand there this whole need workers and not enough shoppers thing just doesn't make sense because these numbers here tell us something different however we now actually have some unsatisfied shoppers appearing down there which is interesting that could be part of this new area it is possible that we've missed something here and I've just realized that we need to give these people some education so let's add in the bus stops this is something that I forgot to do put one right there one up there and one over there so that should cover all of that area and no little oh we're paused that's why no little positive things appearing on the houses nope <laughs> not even now that we've unpaused um, so yep yeah, the approval rating so we understand pretty much all what's going on there with the exception of these two so crime is crime um, everything's good there and we go up to residential happiness you can see here uh, we need money which is always a problem and people keep dying which we've actually made a big improvement on with the health it seems like the wellness centers really do a good job um, so that's something we can still try and improve uh, but this one's interesting so everything's good here except raise the value of our land please 
Um, so we need to put down some more parks, it would seem. So let's have a look at what's going on here in some detail again. I think we actually need to get... Yeah, if we look at this right here, we're getting a lot of this middle bit. Uh, but actually it says what's good for medium wealth is the next one up. So we need more of this stuff that we have right here in the middle. So we've got little patches of it around the place. And in some places not a lot at all. And I think the best way to do this is to put like a row of trees between each building and have the occasional park as well. Let's see if we can fit a tree row on the end there. We can. So that's really helped with that area. What about this one? Yep, we can fit one in there. And that's helped a lot there. That's good. Where else can we fit these in? Possibly, oh no, there's actually a park already there, isn't there? Okay, so I think the thing to do is now to put parks on this side of the street, like that. There we go. Another one here, perhaps. And it's annoying to keep using the same type, actually. Let's put in a public tennis court. Uh, but that won't fit into the place that I actually wanted to put it. So let's put that one further down here, like that. There we go, nicely affected. And notice how it's not spilling out onto the other side of the avenue. And so let's go with that pond right there. And there you go, I think that's made a really good difference. We still do have this little area just in the middle here. It looks like that building's upgrading, which is cool. And I don't really think there's much we can do about this without putting a park on this side of the road, which is not what we want to do. Uh, there is a tiny building there that could actually be sacrificed for the greater good. <laughs> Right, and I want to be very careful here. Okay, that doesn't destroy the buildings on either side. And we are done. Look at that. That is very good. Uh, with the exception of this little bit down here. So why don't we add... Hmm, where could we put this? Actually, we can't, can we? So we're going to put a little sports park down the bottom. But there's no room for it. Um, I think the best thing to do is to get rid of this pond. I thought I clicked on demolish then. Okay. I will do that and we will replace it with... Oh, we have a power problem. Unpowered buildings again. And it's the same area. Oh, and all of this has been... No, wait, it's not being affected, is it? It's because we've got the land value map open. I was getting confused then. So this area again, for some reason, losing power. I'm sure that will get fixed. That is really irritating. Annoying problems like that. Back to the parks. Let's put down... A barbecue pavilion. We'll put one down in the corner there. That doesn't actually seem to affect land value. Maybe it's not supposed to. So let's try... Wavy path. I'm not sure what one to do here. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's put down that one. It's kind of made a little bit of a difference. So let's put down a tree row. There's no way for it to actually go, so we'll put down a pond. There we go, okay, so that area is all done. So now the entire thing is correct. That should inc improve the approval rating. <laughs> and we're actually starting to earn a lot of money again. This is good. Now, I expected this to happen because we have more people working in the city at the moment due to these new houses here. In general, the population's gone up a fair bit. And I checked this out a moment ago. All of these are working really well. In fact, I think you can see this one here doesn't have ore. If we go... Oh, it's because it's not open. Well, let's open that back up. Uh, this is full. This is also full. Lots of coal. We can actually easily increase our operation again, which is good. All of these are full. So we can actually build another smelting factory. Now, to do that straight away, I think, would be a little bit risky. However, our population is going to increase over here. So let's have a look at our density map and just see what's going on. Uh, we clicked on it first time, didn't we? So it actually won't be long before some of these are ready to increase their density. It seems like these ones here already are. And then this street might follow suit after. Uh, but I think we should give it just a touch more time. But yeah, soon we'll be ready to open up yet another smelting factory. Let's put down some more trees, by the way. I've noticed that's been neglected a little bit around this area. And I'm so glad they made that change. It really has been helpful. You know, you don't have to do this all the time. Just keep on top of it. Best to put them some down around here as well. And we should check out the ground pollution in this area here. Because all of this will become residential. Um, so... Where is it? 
that's health, it's that one right there. Wow, that has actually been reduced really fast. We can already probably expand it a couple of buildings. Maybe even one on that side. We won't rush into it though. Let's just make sure we've got the maximum amount of trees right there. And let's add a couple of buildings over on this side. Like that. Excellent. So, going to increase the population a little bit there. Everything seems good. Power is now down a little bit. So, let's add some extra one of these. Although, I don't think that's going to make a difference going into the night. And do you know what? I should have expected this. Why can't I snap to that one? There we go. Because we are expanding the city, and of course that means more power, more water is needed, more sewage. Okay, we've spotted that one before it's happened. Let's go over here and add an extra pump. That is actually our limit reached. So we have to build another one of these now, another sewage treatment plant. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. I have an idea though. Let's go to sewage treatment plant right there. So if we remove the road at the end there, we could possibly squeeze that in right there. Okay, so sewage, sewage treatment plant. So it'd be nice to squeeze it in right over the side so it fits into the same grid. Now if I went further along this way, I could possibly do that. Um, it seems a little bit extreme, but then again, I really like having things neatly done. <laughs> we're just going to put it there, that'll do, that's fine. And uh, we're going to build an extra pump for that, which is a little bit of overkill, and we can't put one there. And that'll do. So sewage is on, we're on top of that now. Probably going to need a little more power than what I've done at the moment. However, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference going into the night. Um, so one other thing I want to have a look at is education, because we opened up some classrooms recently. So 1,890, so didn't seem to make too much of a difference. An extra 98 people in there for that extra classroom. Hmm. Not the greatest of uh, figures right there, but let's have a look at crime, because crime seems to be coming a little bit of a problem in the city. Yes, we have a crime area, that's not good. And it's right in the shopping area as well, so I think we just need to up the amount of police in the city at the moment. So let's go over to our police station, which could probably become a precinct soon. And we're going to add an extra set of cars. In fact, yeah, now that we've got the maximum set of cars, I think the next thing to do would be to um, upgrade to a police precinct. Okay, and that is another long episode of SimCity. Got carried away again. I've been really enjoying playing it this time round. Well, I always enjoy it, but... Um, yeah, just been carried, getting carried away with talking about the city. Um, so that is it for this episode. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.